Hey everyone, it's Dylan and Charlie from the Black Forest Wood Company. So we have got another delivery to another lake in Alberta again. It seems like we just did one of those. Um, this time it's a little bit farther. This was up to Baptiste Lake uh, here in Northern Alberta. And it's a very, very rustic dining set. So a lot of our stuff that we commonly do is like quite modern, like the square edges, the geometric shapes for the legs, um, usually very modern. Whereas this has a tree root base, so all custom apple wood uh, that our friend Jerry found for us. And it's got a live edge top, it's got live edge burl end tables, and a live edge river coffee table. So very rustic, but really nice cabin that uh, our client had out there. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing this one. Um, Charlie didn't get to go for the delivery, unfortunately he stayed here. Um, but yes, let us know what you guys think. Thank you for taking the time to watch and I hope you enjoy. So our client wanted a silver resin for this entire furniture package. So that's what we're mixing up here. And this is for the coffee table and you might notice that the mold is a little bit different than what we would usually do. Oftentimes we'll have MDF going the full way around, uh, whereas this time we just have it on the ends because we want to maintain those live edges. And you can see the, the pour was a little messy, so we just contained it with some silicone. And we're doing the same thing in the cracks and voids, just filling those in. And then everything else is essentially the same. It still cures for a week, and we still flatten it on our CNC. And now we're on to the finishing here. Um, we are actually using on this piece our new Black Forest Oil. We talked about that on Instagram just recently this week and a lot of people had questions on that. So it's probably coming within the next two months, hopefully one month if we can speed things up. And it's just gonna be one product to start that is suited for furniture. So tabletops exclusively. And we really hope you guys uh, enjoy it because we've been using it on our tables for a couple months now and it's worked very well. So that's the same process here uh, that Ben is doing on the dining table using our black forest oil. Uh, you can see the same patch of silver epoxy and of course it's got that nice rustic live edge on the outside. This is the applewood base that we got from our friend Jerry out in BC. So right now Brad's just trimming off some of the excess pieces uh, so that we can actually get it to sit flat. You'll see in a second here when we back up that this thing is on an angle. It doesn't want to sit straight up and down so we had to do some trimming on these limbs, cut the top off, shave it down to around that 30 inches and Brad just kind of did this all by hand with the chainsaw and power planer but then after this we do send it to the CNC to make everything perfect. Something really interesting about this furniture package as well is that every piece of wood is salvaged material. So the dining table top and the end table slabs, so that's the Clara Walnut top and the Clara Walnut Burl tops, uh, they're both salvaged from Walnut Orchards in California. So what happens in California is they plant these walnut orchards and then every about 50 or 60 years, I believe, uh, they get to a point in maturity where they don't uh, produce walnuts at the same rate anymore. So they clear those trees and oftentimes they're just chipped up, burned, and just wasted, whereas in this case, uh, through our connections like GL Veneer and different places like that, we're able to actually get these trees salvaged, cut up, and turned into pieces of wood for us to use. And then similarly on the apple wood base that we used uh, for the dining table base, that was salvaged from a fruit orchard in BC. So any of our Canadians might know, uh, out in BC, it's very popular for people to grow fruit, uh, all different kinds, and this is an example of an apple tree that obviously was rotten on the inside, as you guys can tell from all the decay. So it had died, it was removed, and our friend Jerry salvaged this for us, and we've now turned it into a table base. And finally, the coffee table slabs, they are salvaged by Arborists in Ontario. So same kind of thing, Arborists cut these trees down, and oftentimes they're chipped up or burned and just go to waste. But we have connections out in Ontario, these people salvage the trees and turn them into usable wood for us. All right, so we have a table base that we're uh, trying to flatten here, but it's a little bit too large for our CNC. So we've had to deconstruct our CNC and we have it just sitting flat down there and we have it just up high enough above the bed so that we can surface it and make it nice and flat.
just finished a five hour drive and we got on site here at this lake in Alberta. Um, we're delivering a furniture package for our clients. So we've got dining table, coffee table and two end tables. Uh, the dining table, as you guys can see here, is quite rustic um, just by the base of it. So it's this big applewood stump and we've got a Clara walnut top underneath there. Um, it's going to be a little tricky getting this one in, but it should look really good with this little cabin here. What's that? The hardest part's going to be lifting this thing. Yeah, we'll just tilt it and then take it off. Yeah. You got it here? For a sec, yeah. Move to the side. Got it. Okay, start tipping more. Oh, grab by the plate. Grab by the plate. Hold on. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. It's, this is so light compared to the base. I know. Burls in with the seat belt. That's the only suitable way to transport them. So we'll we'll let them out now.
That's wicked. got everything delivered here. Um, this is the dining table. Again, it is Clara Walnut and it's actually a grafted piece. Uh, so that means this tree was manually cut and then had another tree grafted on. So this here, what you see is English Walnut. Well, that's Clara Walnut. It's got an applewood tree stump base on there that came from our friend Jerry out in BC. Then we did some Clara Walnut end tables that Jerry actually milled for us. He milled all our Clara Walnut burls. So there's a pair of them, one right here, and then one over on the other side that you guys can kind of see. And then finally, we've got this black walnut coffee table in the middle. Um, so Canadian black walnut, silver resin, solid steel legs, and then there is like this walnut stretcher that goes across the middle of that. Um, but this actually went perfectly. Um, sometimes the deliveries don't, but this one went completely perfect. Everything went according to plan. We already sent the client a photo and he loves it, so that's always a bonus. Um, let us know what you guys think of this package, and I would be curious to know out of the four pieces, uh, which one you guys would actually pick as your favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, that delivery there. It, it was quite a bit more rustic, like I said, than what we usually do, so let me know if you guys like that rustic look. Uh, I think in kind of the setting he had it, since it's like his lake home cabin thing, I think it looked pretty good in my opinion. Uh, but like I said, let me know what you guys think. And some exciting news for us. Uh, we've got a big furniture package that we're starting here soon. So this client spent um, over six figures uh, on all of this furniture. It's for all for their home. This isn't a commercial business or anything. It's all Buckeye Burl uh, with black and ash. So there's cabinets, dining tables, chairs, coffee tables, all kinds of things, uh, but we will be showing some of the beginning pours for that next week, so we're, we're pretty excited to, to let you guys in on that, uh, but that's all we've got for this week. Charlie, see something outside, and we will see you next week.